We know Angelina Jolie as an actor and an Oscar winner, but she's also a dedicated humanitarian, and on this day, one of the advocates at a White House celebration for the signing of the Violence Against Women Act. It took time to change the culture, and you did it. President Biden walked hand in hand with Ruth Glenn, who leads the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence. This has been yeah. kind of an uphill battle. Yes, absolutely. I met up with Ruth and Angelina in Washington. Angelina, you lobbied for the Violence Against Women Act to be reauthorized. You were all over Capitol Hill. This day has to feel big for you. Well, we lobbied. <laughs> yes, lobbied. we did. Yes, so, we did. For all of us and for all of those who've been doing it for, for a very, very long time, and this is a long time coming. What is the significance of this being signed into law? Many, many survivors who have not had their needs addressed previously will now have their needs addressed. It fills the gaps for our Native American uh, sisters and brothers, LGBTQI, um, the list goes on and on. For the first time, there are also protections for women and children who allege abuse during custody disputes. For months, Angelina met with individual senators on Capitol Hill pushing that, at one press conference, getting emotional. Most of all, I want to acknowledge the children who are terrified and suffering at this moment and the many people for whom this legislation comes too late. That provision is known as Caden's Law. Play soccer right here. Named after Kathy Sherlock's seven-year-old daughter, Caden was murdered by her own father following a custody dispute. How many people did I have to beg for help? How many people did it take? And it didn't work. She knew, and many, many of us know, what is not in place. And a lot of that is the training. The, the really basic, basic training for, for judges. For judges. Caden's law provides federal incentives for states to prioritize the safety of children in court proceedings. There is science behind the damage, the real medical damage that is done when there is abuse and post-traumatic stress disorder and trauma. And if it's not responded to by the authorities appropriately, how that grows worse and settles in that body. Do you think Absent training, do you think sometimes law enforcement and judges in this country are too quick to dismiss allegations of real abuse? I think, I think this country doesn't recognize what a serious domestic violence and child abuse problem it really has. When somebody harms a child, if it's a stranger, the way the law looks at it, the way the law responds, it's quite strong. When it's somebody within a family, within a home, it is responded to less. And if you can imagine for the child, in fact, that's, that's in many ways worse. Angelina also pushed for funding for technology to detect bruises on children of color. Researchers have found in the first 24 hours, evidence of abuse is harder to detect on dark skin than light skin. Part of this came from being a mom. My children have different skin tones. And I've noticed um, over the years, just even in a, with dermatology, that, that so much of it is based on white skin. It's personal, and I, 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 won't say, I won't say very much, but if somebody comes in and assaults us, you look at me and you look at Ruth, you have a better chance of seeing bruises on me. So anybody with darker skin is going to have less chance at justice. And it's an inequity. Yes. It's, it, it is absolutely it's biased. <laughs> absolutely. It's biased forensics. Angelina, you said this is personal in passing a moment ago. I don't know if you realized you said that, but you said it is personal. Personal for a lot of people. Yeah. It should be personal. It is personal to everyone. Everyone, everyone who cares about family, everyone who cares about children. Jolie's own split and custody battle with ex-husband Brad Pitt gave her experience with the family court system. And I think once you're exposed to uh, this system, whoever you are, once you're exposed to it and you realize how unbelievably broken this system is, you have to do something to improve it. Last year, we first reported on the family court system. You saw a little bit of it there and custody disputes involving allegations of violence. Look, it's complicated, but one of the issues we heard again and again is that some women don't feel they can report abuse because it might be seen as simply an effort to badmouth the other parent and gain custody. Some lawyers even tell women not to mention abuse. Mm. Family court judges are often inclined to preserve both parents' rights to be with their kids, and sometimes that means that parents who were abusive still have access to their 
their children. That's just a fact. And that is what Caden's Law is trying to prevent. Wow. That was really illuminating, mm -hmm. uh, Kate. And that technology yeah. That, yeah. That, that detects... About the bruising. bruising. dark skin. Yeah. Yeah. I had never heard of it. I never yeah. thought of that. Yeah, there are researchers working on this. There's a certain kind of light they can use. Um, mm -hmm. But again, it's not really in practice in law yeah. enforcement all over the country. Mm -hmm. So part of what the money in this law will do is try to promote more research on that and get it out there. Such it's important. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Kate, thank, thank you. Thank you, Kate. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.